there are so many medical terms that have now been added to our vocabulary today. One of them, of course, all of us have been talking about the ECMO, but what does that mean to the lay viewer? Let's try and uh, uh, deconstruct that. This is exactly what an ECMO machine is, but to help us out with this, we have our doctors on call, our expert, the cardiologist, uh, Samir Gupta. Dr. Samir Gupta, come on in, Doc. Uh, yeah. Let's just try and understand, you know, all morning we've been talking about the ECMO. What exactly is this? So, you know, uh, it's, it's a great point. And ECMO basically is extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. So what it basically does, it does the work of the heart and also of the lungs in somebody who's had, who has weak lungs and is not able to oxygenate the blood in the body. So I think this uh, pictorial diagram over here explains this very well. Now, this over here is the heart. And uh, the heart does the, pu the work of the pumping. It pumps blood all over the body. Uh, what you see over here is a blue line and then a red line. These, this is, these mark the catheters. Now, in the body, they put in catheters. When you put an ECMO device, you put in catheters in the body. And this catheter with the blue blood, it's coming out. It's coming out over here. In the ECMO machine, it goes and it gets oxygenated. So basically, the work of the lungs is done. So wait, explain this. So the heart actually does the pumping, right? right. It's the lungs that actually add the oxygen to the blood. So what exactly. you're doing right now is giving both the heart and the lung a break because a break. they're weak. Yeah, but I think that, that, that's a great point. They, it, it, you give them rest. Okay, you so give that them they rest. can recover, the patient can also recover because it's a lot for the organs to be able to work right now when the patient is under a lot of stress. Exactly. But how long can you let the ECMO do the work that the heart and the lung should be doing? Because that is a crucial part, I mean, that's the way you live. Yeah, so, you know, you typically do not want to keep the ECMO for long. Mm -hmm. So, as uh, not more than a few days. Okay. Because, you know, you put in these catheters, it's doing all the work. So, that also brings along its complications. You know, you these mean like catheters. infection and things? Infection, bleeding, these catheters are big, they can thrombose. Which we're told uh, from our sources that she's not having any bleeding issues, any of that. Right. But the problem is that the heart and the lung could then just get used to, well not, I mean to be too lazy to depend on somebody else doing their work for them and we can't afford that. Is well, that correct? No, to a certain extent, uh, that is right that they get, I wouldn't say they get lazy, but they need time to recover. Mm -hmm. They need time to recover. At the end of the day, this is a temporary support device a person cannot walk with this you can't you know you can't lead a normal life with this this is just of course. a temporary support so as soon so as the you next get the few support, days are going to be crucial yes yes also quickly if you can tell us the difference between a cardiac arrest and a heart attack because again we've been using yeah. the term cardiac arrest a lot that's what Jailalatha suffered yesterday what's the difference between the two so in a heart attack uh, you know it's it's the most common thing you see you know heart disease heart attacks that typically happens when the blood that gives the arteries that give blood to the heart are called the coronary arteries. Correct. Now if those arteries develop any blockage, Correct. all of a sudden there's a blood clot that develops, that causes a heart attack. And in a cardiac arrest situation, it's an electrical problem of the heart. So the heart is not beating properly. So in, normally your heart beats like this. Now just imagine if your heart just goes, starts Correct. fibrillating. Correct. So once it starts fibrillating, it's not pumping properly. If it's not pumping properly, so when you have a cardiac body. arrest, you have to administer CPR, and that's what we've seen in the movies. We want to just make it very simple for the layman right, viewer, right. where you use the electrodes. You use the electrodes, you do the pumping, you give them oxygen. That is CPR, and that is an emergency life-saving maneuver. And when you say emergency, what's important here is that how much time this cardiac arrest actually continues, because it depends on, it, it's basically sending oxygen to the brain. Right. Is that correct? Right. So, you know, when your heart doesn't beat properly in a cardiac arrest, mm -hmm. your heart is just all of a sudden stopped. Um, it's not beating properly. So there's no oxygen going into the brain. There's no oxygen going into the other vital organs. So that causes hypoxia. So the ECMO is not important when you have a cardiac arrest. The ECMO only follows later. Once you've recovered from the cardiac arrest, once you've been stabilized, in order to allow your lungs and your heart to recover, that's when you put you on, they put you on the ECMO. Is so that they correct? Put you, they, so after the, as, as the cardiac arrest is going on and you're correct. doing CPR, you can, you know, start getting ready with the ECMO circuit and everything else because this also takes time. Yeah. So, you know, putting it in, it takes a a few minutes, 10, 15, 20 minutes. And before I hand back, uh, we, before we go into a short break, the fact that Jailalata is 68, the fact that she's been unwell, she has diabetes, how does all of that complicate the recovery process right now? You know, that's hard to tell. It's more on a patient to patient basis. I've had patients, personal patients, who have recovered from ECMO with some of those comorbidities. So I think it has to be taken on a day by day. Uh, we all hope for the best. We all hope that she recovers soon. 
uh, but that only time will tell. I think that's what everyone's going to do, uh, do, uh, do Ankita. We're going to go in for a quick break. We come back to you for the other updates. But as of now, as we're hearing from the medical experts, it's really, it depends on a day-by-day -day basis and how will uh, the Chief Minister recover.